shouting it out. With that pose. Look at him. Look at him. They, 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 say, a per they say perfect is impossible. It's, they haven't seen Lumen before. Exactly. Juicy 2 rocking the combo breaker shirt. I I'm like gonna call it. Him, I'm going to call him Juicy. Shouts to Rick for running probably the best uh, major basically out. Hey, Yomakan is what we got. All right. Oh, so Juicy oh. going with Ori. That was one of the other uh, things we thought it might be. Oh, and they're going right into it. No button check. So Lumen is a very patient player. He's going to wait for his spot. Yeah. And for those who don't know uh, uh, Under Knight, it's a pretty interesting game. Uh, one of the mechanics it does have is that, um, unlike in other uh, games, you can reverse speed, which is basically if you press a button of uh, higher power, like if you press like your medium punch button or like a heavy punch button, you can go back down to a light, uh, yeah. even even if uh, your opponent blocks it. Uh, and that's kind of how you kind of keep your pressure up. Right. Because um, normally uh, a C button, for example, will will be extremely uh, slow on recovery and bad on block. But in situations where you can reverse speed, it could make it as as good as negative two or even plus one in a lot of yeah. situations. Yeah, there's definitely some situations like that. Yeah. Uh, for, uh, so uh, Wolfcron was actually a Hilda player, though he didn't really stick with the game too much. We also had uh, White Beast, who was uh, uh, a longtime Street Fighter player. Uh, he messed around with Hilda, but now plays uh, Phonon. Uh, we also had um, Antoine Alucard. Yeah, he played Ori. He played Orier. He played Gordo for at, at first. Yes. I mean, that was that was the Michigan character. Like yeah. everyone yeah, picked up Gordo sure. once they were like, man, this is, this is the good stuff. Yeah. So so we had uh, like this game really kind of was um, the bridging of of the two scenes, like the Capcom side of things. And then uh, the anime side of things, yeah. in a lot of ways. Oh, so uh, one of the things that uh, Akatsuki has that not other characters do is that uh, every character in this game has something called a force function, which is basically your B uh, C move. Uh, and Akatsuki has access to a parry, so it's something really unique to him and no other character has. Uh, and it's actually really interesting how he can get out of situations that most characters can't. And Lumen is definitely not afraid to throw it out. And obviously, like, if it if it whiffs, it's a big risk. You'll get yeah. counter hit. But he definitely tries to study up where you could get away with doing it in matches. Yeah. Lumen has excellent defenses. Like, among probably anybody in Michigan anime period, his defenses are probably in the top of, oh. the, of the league. They're incredibly good. Ooh. So good veil off by Juicy Chu gets uh, Lumen off of him. Uh, and Lumen hit with a uh, very unsafe move, almost got himself killed. Uh, so, Bailoff is kind of like uh, a burst almost in this game, if you haven't played. Uh, it gets everyone off of you, but uh, you can only do it uh, while you're not in um, uh, a combo, and you're not in block stuff. There has to be at least like a little bit of a gap. Right. And you can only do it when you have at least 100 meters. So, Yushi now has... Uh Vorpal, right? Yes, that's what he does yeah. have Vorpal. Yeah, at the bottom screen, there's uh, the grind meter. Uh, basically, it's a tug of war between pressure and defense. So um, every time you move forward, it goes a little bit up on your side. And when you uh, back dash or jump back, it's going to go down. Yeah. And you're rewarded for actually blocking and shielding really well. So the better defense you have, the more of a reward and grind you'll get. And when you have Vorpal, you actually do a little bit more damage, and you gain access to something called Chain Shift which is um, if you press D twice, you basically get to cancel any normal uh, or special on like hit or block. Yeah. Uh, EX moves are, are uh, not a part of that. Uh, they can only be uh, uh, chain shifted on hit generally. But it's a pretty big deal. Um, it also gives you access to a couple other tools. Uh, it generally, uh, every character has like a Warpal trait, so they get something a little bit better in Warpal. All right, and that's going to be Lumen with the first game. There was a couple couple sloppy drops, but it's looking like they're just kind of warming up, getting into it. Yeah. So this is a first to five, correct? First to five. OK, yeah. so Lumen takes the first game, where score is uh, one to nothing so far, favor of Lumen. Oh, uh, we're going right to character oh, select. We, we oh, we got, OK. We got so a, um, what I was talking about before. We were, were going to get the Akatsuki mirror. Now, Akatsuki actually has, from what I understand, really scary pressure. He does. It's, it's really weird because um, a lot of characters in this game 
uh, have really, really big normals and have like really like oppressive looking buttons. Yeah. And Akatsuki more or less is just like a normal dude with a fireball. Yeah. Um, he's very like Shoto S. He's very got a fireball and he's got a DT. And, and he, a parry. <laughs> a parry and he's got uh, a hurricane kick. He's literally a Shoto. But um, once he gets going, uh, even though his like his normals are really slow, his pressure is really good because he can he can do his fireball at a distance where it's going to be basically plus, and he has a dashing uh, C move that will generally keep him also at free advantage. So, so what ha what happened there a second ago? Um, Lumen got shield broken because he got hit with the low when he shielded high. Um, that passed, and he's got his portal back now. But yeah, figured I wanted to point that out. Yeah, when uh when you get guard broken, you lose access to uh, the grind, and you actually can't shield anymore. Which is basically when you're blocking and you press shield, you'll push the opponent out a bit more, and you'll change the frame data of the move. Uh, generally, you want to do that to kind of make things less advantageous and uh, definitely get people off of you. But it can be called out in order yes. to uh, benefit you who's on the pressure side. Yeah, if you're shielding and you get thrown, it's gonna uh, guard break you and you can't check the throw. As well as if you like shield high and you get hit with a low, or vice versa, that'll guard break you as well. So that was excellent right there on uh, on, on the part of Jushi. Yeah, Jushi uh, definitely hit with that wake up parry. Yeah, he uh... God, what, what is it called again? <laughs> what? I'm at a loss for what it's called. The uh, the DD, that. Yeah, change shift. Change shift. That's yeah. right. I, I don't. I, I got up really early today. It's okay. cool. <laughs> uh, that was actually really good. Uh, Juicy Chu. Uh, oh, and a cross veil off. Drops the combo. A little bit of a drop. Uh, so cross veil off is uh, basically uh, if you have the, the meter to veil off and you're doing it within a combo. It'll prop the opponent up, and it'll reset uh, essentially the combo uh, stunt and the knockdowns allowed. So it's a big way to like kind of get more damage in, uh, and definitely a good way to finish the match out. So Jushi Chu, Jushi, Jushi Chu. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. Yeah. He takes the second match. We're tied up one to one now. And that look on Lumen's face says, I do not like losing to my own character. No. <laughs> Lumen, as much as I, I talked to Lumen before, because I'm always curious about people going into exhibitions, and he was talking about, no, I'm confident he goes uh, Akatsuki, I think. And uh, it's always interesting, because I know he used to hate the Akatsuki mirror, because we have, uh, in Michigan, we also have Seth, uh, LOL, famous cross Tekken player, really good Street Fighter Five player, and he also plays Akatsuki, or at least used to. Um, so they'd have to play this matchup easily like once a week. Yeah. So chain shift out. It's a good way to kind of reverse the pressure. And as you can see, this match is as as actual honest as you can get, basically. <laughs> uh, it's just two Shotos just doing a lot of fireballs, trying to pressure each other out. Yeah. A lot of whiff punishing. Oh, and uh, Akatsuki is also a unique character where he's one of the two characters in the game with an air throw. And yeah. it's uh, good for uh, changing position if you want to uh, basically put the opponent in the corner. Yeah, L Lumen ended his combo early in order to gain the position in that situation. Uh, and he takes the first round of the third match. So Lumen's the gold guy. <laughs> oh, that was a really, really good pickup for a second. Quick drop, though. Big damage, get right into it. Yeah, and then uh, you saw him for a second there. Juju Chu did uh, he did a charge. If you just hold D without uh, pressing any buttons, you'll actually charge your grind meter. You'll spend a little bit of your meter to cha charge your grind. Uh, it's a good way when you have like a knockdown, you have some time, just to give yourself a little bit of a buffer to increase right. your uh, grind. Oh, that, that was a perfect, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, th this this matchup is definitely uh, momentum based since it's the same exact character. It's the same exact character. <laughs> the other thing that's interesting about uh, Akatsuki actually is that uh, uh, you can't actually cross up Akatsuki's DP very easily because it is uh, it is down, a down down, down input. Yeah. So he he has that blessed input. <laughs> yeah. yep. Can't cross up his DP. Yeah, and his hurricane kick is amazing. It uh, crushes lows. Uh, Last hit's an overhead. Yeah. Uh, you can super cancel into a fireball to make sure that you're safe. Uh, it's a pretty spooky move. Also, uh, if, if uh, 
if you space it just right to where the second hit whiffs, it makes it that much harder to uh, block the last hit overhead. Yeah. All right. Lumen up. 2-1, favor Lumen. It's my golden boy. He, I, should, I shouldn't be showing bias, but that's, that's, that's my man's. That's your man's? <laughs> that's my man's. All right, we're going back here. Just like, let's see what's going on. Chatting it up. They're all friends here. Yeah. That, you know, on TV at least. On, on TV, yeah. yeah. So uh, if ever you guys are interested in this game, uh, the unit scene, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, we actually do have some players. Uh, we actually meet up ever. If you're in Michigan area, we meet up on uh, Fridays at, uh, at a friend's house. Uh, we call it the Weeb Fort. Yep. But uh, if ever you're interested, I know uh, within the Facebook groups and stuff like that. And, and Lumen himself on. will personally make sure. Uh, Lumen will, will <laughs> do anything he can to make sure people will come out and play yeah. Undernight. He is, he is most certainly the ambassador of the Undernight oh, scene. Yes. If for some reason you like are like, oh, I don't have a ride, there's a chance that man will be like, I got you. <laughs> it's like, fine. as long as you play me in a long set. Yeah. It's like, I will drive you, but you have to eat Thai food with me and first to 10. <laughs> All right, this color change might not be working out for Juchi Chu. It was looking, <laughs> it was looking okay, but the class of the Katsuki, ooh, ooh, that was actually really good. Yeah. Uh, it was a jump whip normal, so it forced the shield action to still happen because he was put into like proximity guards, yeah. and then he got to throw him uh, and guard break him for free. Lumen playing very patiently, not paying off in the end for him. Dude, it's hard. When, when you're being pressured by Akatsuki, uh, there's a lot of times where you just kind of have to guess when he's going to go yeah. for throw. When I face Lumen, I feel like, you know, I have no idea what I'm doing. But even when I'm watching Lumen fight against Lumen, it looks like he doesn't know what he's doing. It's, it's so Akatsuki now I feel game. a little better about myself. Yeah. Nice little conversion there. He's, he's, there's a reason that people consider him the new Gorilla character. You got Lumen going for infinite work, big damage. Just Ooh, wants to uh, nice. even up the life lead. See, that, that 2A is actually a low. It does yeah. not look like a low. It, it actually wasn't a low before. Yeah. It was originally uh, a mid, and they made it uh, a low because you're like, you know what Akatsuki needs? Yeah, a low. He was on 2A low. But they didn't change the animation, no. Yeah. <laughs> so we got, we got Lumen up. What is that, 3-1 now? Yeah, it's 3-1. Lumen's looking to try and show his uh, Akatsuki dominance. Yeah. He's like, like, yo, I had a Japanese artist draw me a picture of Akatsuki. I will show that I am the top Akatsuki. Yeah, we need, we need like Lumen is the Akatsuki. Yes. Like I, I would put him against anyone from Japan, and I will be his hype crew as hype much crew. as he wants. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, Midwest actually does have a decent uh, undernight scene. Uh, Michigan, it's not as huge, but definitely in Ohio and uh, Indiana, it is definitely a place. Yeah. In and Michigan, it's all about quality over quantity, though, and we got we got Lumen. I'm sorry, what was that? We got Lumen. We do got Lumen. Quality over quantity. That's that's my man. <laughs> that's your man. <laughs> I just want Lumen Senpai to notice me. That's it. I after this after these bots, I'm pretty sure he will. <laughs> all right, we got you to shoot. Oh, oh, nice little cross under up. attempt. Didn't work. That's Lumen, though, man. He, he's got the defense like crazy. Oh, good throw. So throws in this game are uh, actually uh, very reactable for the most part. Yep. Um, on top of that, uh, if you put someone in block stun and you go for a throw, it will count as a uh, gold throw. And it has uh, extra frames to tech it. Yeah, uh, liken it to the purple grabs in Blaze Blue if you're more yeah. familiar with that game. I want to say it's like you have like 17 frames to tech it or something. It's also important to know that uh, if you break a throw, you you are at plus eight. Yes, you are you are at advantage. So it's kind of to reward uh, the more defensive options in the game. Yeah. So like uh, if you do tech a throw, it's your turn basically. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, mind you, Akatsuki can get a little cheeky. I can always any character reversal can basically be like, I know I'm minus, yeah. but I'm gonna DP exactly. And yeah. and you know some players like <clears throat> me uh, will. Definitely take full advantage of that. Oh, I wanted to. So, I mean, oh, I my grab this. was broken? Well, I guess I'll let the DP rip. Yeah. So we are at 3-2 right. now, three, two, still two, in two, favor two, of Lumen. But that's what we want to see here. We want to see it be close. Yeah, we, we do want to see it be close. But, you know, 
<laughs> oh my. <laughs> we like we like a uh, good clean close matches here in Michigan. Yeah. Ooh. Good change shift. Trying to keep that hot pressure up. So that fireball can actually be a frame trap at, in certain situations, yes. correct? Akatsuki's fireball is uh, very special. Yeah. Oh, there you saw uh, Lumen do uh, a chain shift. He, he did ADB yeah. so he could uh, chain shift it. Yeah. That's the guard, grind break. Ooh. Lumen takes the first round of the, I can't count anymore, six set. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the J also, uh, a lot of times you'll see the Akatsuki go for uh, this like jumping normal that looks like a, a overhead like axe kick. Yeah. It looks very much like reminiscent of like Makoto's axe kick. And that move is, no matter what you do, basically plus or safe. Uh, yeah. Even if you perfectly shield it, uh, Akatsuki basically still gets to just say, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm fine. Isn't that, isn't that the end of his, uh, that one right there? Yeah, it looks like the yeah. end of his uh, hurricane kick. Yeah. Tatsu. But he gets to just do it uh, in the air if he wants to, uh, as a command normal. See, and then uh, Akatsuki does have like multiple versions Tried of his fireball, so he can fix it up. He was probably looking for uh, an assault. Try and dash under the assault. Yeah. Oh, it was ballsy with a uh, uh, double jump at the start. Yeah, Akatsuki got a very good anti air with that six C. If, if he lands oh. it, you can get like 4K meter list. Uh, I you get a lot. Uh, if ever you're landing. Uh, something like that, uh, the damage scaling is going to go away. Lumen oh. attempted an empty jump low. Yeah. Got blown up by it. Also, the veil off uh, means that he's guard broken, so for a while he's going to have to just take this pressure. He can't shield him out. Uh, that was a, a bad 6C. Uh, he could have been punished for it, but uh, I understand tense situations. Yeah. We've all been there. And the Tatsu to just blow up and anti here to jump. <laughs> Akatsuki. It's new it's, age, it's new age, evil sometimes. Yeah. New age gorilla. Oh, that was great. He tried to parry, you know, going back to that gimmick we mentioned earlier. Yeah. Out of uh, the, gr the grab. But Lumen saw that, dashed dash forward and grabbed him out of it. Yeah. Oh. And yeah, this Lumen's is going to be it. Lumen the takes the fourth. Well, he takes right. four. Yeah. So four to one two. One more. Lumen's on, one. what, set point right now? Set point, yeah. Well, set match. Something yeah. like that. Lingo. It's, it's set point. Yeah. I'm really bad at being impartial. Should I be the heel commentator? Should I just be, uh, should I just be uh, JBL? This matchup is, is very much in favor of Akatsuki. Yeah. <laughs> All we need is Squish here, and then it would be even more in favor. I think, uh, I think Akatsuki... Um, has the advantage in this matchup, 6-4. Uh, 6-4, six 6-4 four. Six four, six four four Akatsuki. Akatsuki. Yeah. That's fair. I respect it. Ooh. Jump J2C to blow up the assault. See, Lumen with the, uh, oh, you checked my throw, I'm minus, I'm just going to parry. Yeah. Because there's, there's definitely ways you can still try to disrespect your opponent, even Absolutely. If, you're, if you're losing your turn. It's the same. It's the same as dealing with a mix-up. You know? Yeah, you can block high or low, or you can mash, not mash. <laughs> or you just mash, mash and fun. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to let the opponent just do whatever they want. Yeah. You gotta let them know that you have this option. Yeah, of course. But it's mind game. Exactly. All right. So Lumen right now, uh, actually on the, the set point. Yeah. Trying to close it out. Looking very good, but that Jushu's does not it. mean that it is over. Or even no, closer. not at all. I would say Jushu Ju, I want to see him come back. Oh, wow. That was a really weird interaction with the parry, where he parried the fireball, and because of the chain shift, it just, for some reason, maybe ate the input for the follow for something. <laughs> There's a nice little exchange there. Uh, Miller, it should be a first to five, as far as I know. That's what we've been saying. Yes. We saw I got this wrong. wrong. But yeah, I, I, believe I believe it is first five. Oh. All right. That's, that's, that's there it is, Lumen. 
Yeah. That is it. Lumen takes the set. Yeah. And we got to hand it to Juicy. Juicy did good. He's, uh, he, he's, he's a good player. I saw that what he was doing was great. But, I mean, it's Lumen. It's, it's